And have you ever been guilty of spying on your kids? Well, my stepson has put these weird, like, blue stripes on his Prius, like racing stripes. <laughs> so I always know I can see his car around town. Are you following? Yeah, like he said, he was at his friend's Aust his friend Austin's house, but. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know where you were. Okay, like, <laughs> well, I'm serious about this. He wasn't at his friend's house. Uh, he was not at Austin's house. Wilson is about a cranky, lonely bachelor, played by Mr. Woody Harrelson who reunites with his ex-wife from 17 years ago and discovers that he has a daughter who was put up for adoption 17 years ago that he becomes obsessed with finding and sort of forcing uh, a relationship on this daughter that doesn't yeah. know him and this ex-wife that hates him. And uh, things don't, don't go according to plan. I thought it was a wonderful script. You know, it uh, was written by Daniel Klaus, yeah. who's uh, the, also did the graphic novel. So between the wonderful script and getting to work with Craig, who I'd watched uh, Skeleton Twins and thought he was a real talent, you know, uh, those were the two main things at the time. But now, if I'm looking back on it, I would have to add three other good reasons. Ah, <laughs> go on. Aww. Sitting on this couch with incredible, <laughs> awesome women who are very talented and, uh, I love them. I auditioned like old school style. I, right. I know. I Judy read the Greer's script. Audition. And I was, you made you audition? I know. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Come on, like, she's done a hundred movies, and you can check those and see if she could. Oh my God! Okay, wait, I everybody, hold on. Before I get thrown under the bus, I just remember a tape showing up. And I was like, I couldn't believe it. That Judy Greer like, made a tape. I wanted to be in this movie so bad when I read it. I loved it so oh. much. And then I read the graphic novel, and I just like sometimes there's things you want, and you're like, well, maybe it's not meant for me. But this one, like, no one was playing my role but me. I had to have it. I would do anything. I would audition again for it. It was wow. so. Which we're going to do right, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need some My space. A retroactive <laughs> audition. I've never seen that. This is going to be cool. Yeah. I have to just add you have all these, you know, dreams laid out in front of you. You know, this incredible graphic novel, these beautiful characters, Daniel Klaus's writing, Craig, Woody, these amazing actresses. Then you all go to Minneapolis together and like summer camp have the greatest summer of your life. Yeah. We became it, that was the yeah. best beyond the a family. family. Yeah. So it just so fun. like the dream unfolded and I, I've oh. never had a more delicious creative experience. My first day I just got thrown in a car with these two. Like my first day on set and I was like, what am I getting myself into? I need to go home. Like what is happening? I was very intimidated. Well you didn't show it. I couldn't believe it. We saw it. So um, she was improvising on the spot it was incredible. Instantly improvising with these guys and and keeping up with them uh, with flying colors. And Isabella we found, I, we we saw hundreds and hundreds of auditions for her role. And, you know, Isabella was a student in Atlanta, a uh, high school student, and just knocked us out with this tape. And then we hung out in person for a little while. And David Rubin said I was the first audition tape that was seen. You were. You were. Yeah. You were the, the first one then shown to me. And that happens a lot, I find, in auditions. You, you, you look at one and you're like, this is the person to beat. And you watch hundreds of others and you go back to the one that was your first love. Yeah.